Hey, it's Darlene. Welcome to my channel. I'm working on a fun fold card today and I'm using Dollar Tree pattern paper, which is that polka dots right there. So basically for the base, you use a five and a half by four and a quarter and it's just the one piece. It's not folded. What is folded is this pink one that I'm folding right now and that is three by eight scored at um, four inches. So that's your little card in a sense. Now this piece right here that I'm showing that square is three and a half inch square and I'm going to cut that on the diagonal that yellow pattern piece of paper is cut at three and a quarter and it will also be cut at a diagonal so in a sense you have enough to make two cards you just need to do another base so um, this is a really quick and fun card and I like it because you can use it to include a gift card as well as a little greeting card. So the greeting card in a sense is that smaller one that I just showed you of, and it's up there on the top with that really cute uh, birthday pattern paper. I grabbed three different pattern papers for this and um, two different color card stocks. And here are the cutting directions if you want them. So you can pause that and, and um, you know, print that out or you can go to my blog and I do have um, a link to the card maker where I copied, if you want to call it that, or that I got the idea from. Um, but I think it's super fun and really easy. So this, like I said, is a pattern paper from a six by six pad that I bought from the Dollar Tree. I'm telling you, the Dollar Tree is really stepping up on their crafting supplies. If you have not had a chance to go check yours out, go do it. I promise you, you will not be disappointed. I found, you know, even, um, die cutting dies there's stickers there's adhesive there's pretty much everything you can think of now you also need to remember it's a dollar well a dollar 25 so you know you're not going to get the the best best you know materials but for this type of thing especially when working with the card now it does say that they are um, you know photo safe this paper but you know, for a card, I don't need it to be photo safe. So I'm um, here, I'm creating a pocket there. So you saw me just put adhesive on the far left side and that bottom side. Um, and I just use double sided tape for that because whenever you're making a pocket, you do want some really strong adhesive. I'm um, adhering another fun pattern piece of paper on top of this card. And this is where I'm going to place the main focal image, which are a bunch of gnomes that I colored, and also a white piece of cardstock cut down. And uh, so that is two and three quarters by three and three quarters. And just place it right in there. And that's where you can put your sentiment or your greetings to your uh, the person that's getting it. So I hope you like this video. And if you do, give me a thumbs up. Like I mentioned before, if you go to my blog, you can see all the links on the products that I used and also the link of the original um, information or the idea that I got this from. If you want to give that person some love. Um, but um I stamped and colored these images before I created the card because I knew I was going to be doing some birthday gnomes and um, just fussy cutting them and then adhering them straight on the card. So uh, like I mentioned, if you do like this video, make sure you give me um, or hit that like button. Give me a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I do post two videos a week. One is always scrapbooking. The other is whatever it is I'm creating in the command center, which is the name of my craft room and also my blog. And um, those projects can be anything. Most of the time, if I'm being honest, they're pa other paper projects like this. But a lot of times I do some Cricut vinyl projects. I do some home decor projects. Hey, I even do some mixed media, some art journaling, some junk journaling, things like that. But check it out. I swear you'll, you won't regret it. So hit that subscribe button. You can also hit that notification bell, which will notify you every time I post a new video. So thank you so much for watching. And I hope that you enjoy this really fun, quick, fun fold card. And with that little um, pocket right there, this is a perfect spot to add a gift card as well, if that was something you were considering. And as always, is a card complete without some embellishments or additional embellishments? Eh, sometimes, but this one, I, I have all these enamel dots and I always forget to put them on and it makes me nuts because that's why we buy our stuff, right? Use our stuff. But since that card was going to be placed in the corner, I didn't want to put any enamel dots on that uh, left hand, that bottom left hand corner, because I didn't want it to get caught up in the pocket. So you can see that I'm just kind of putting those dots around the image over in the middle and also the upper part of that. So you see how that worked there? 
super cute right and then these are the other two that i created again using the dollar tree pad for the main pattern paper and then the other pattern papers that i selected were from my scrap bin and you know card making is a perfect opportunity to use scraps and then i just did the same thing i added different enamel dots on them the ones that i'm using right now i got those from eyelet outlet and from the expo last year and they were like a matte covering the white ones and that those purple ones i absolutely love those i think they're so fun and different but anyhow here are the cards i hope you enjoy this thank you so much again for watching make sure you like comment and subscribe bye